Greetings YouTube, this is Brian and you're watching Ascending Human and just in case you were wondering, yes, that is a map of Skyrim behind me, ha ha ha. Because I'm a nerd like that and I love Skyrim. Today we're going to be talking about food science-y stuff. <laughs> But first, I need a haircut. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about some food science-y stuff, but where to begin? The law of thermodynamics method. That just means that if I want to put on weight, I need to eat more calories than my body's burning and vice versa. If you're trying to lose weight, you need to eat less calories than your body is burning. Now, how do you figure out how many calories your body needs and what the heck is a calorie? That's what we're going to talk about today. So what is a calorie? The calories that we know and that we are familiar with are what the scientific community might call a kilocalorie. The amount of energy needed to raise one kilogram of water by one degree Celsius. Simply put, a calorie is a measurement of energy. The first thing I do when I'm figuring out how many calories I need during the day is I go online and I do a Google search for BMR calculator. That's B as in boy, M as in mangoes, and R as in railroads or whatever. Now what that stands for is basal metabolic rate calculators. It's usually the first five that pop up on a Google search and I will average those three to five calculators to get an actual guesstimated number of calories that I need to eat any given day. On training days I'm gonna be burning more calories than on days where I'm just working and chilling out and resting. It kind of gives you a reference, kind of gives you a starting point for understanding what it is that you're eating and the energy that it contains. It is my personal belief that our bodies are genetically predisposed to process certain foods, certain calories better and more efficiently than other ones. What I mean by that is very heavily processed foods like fast foods are harder on the body to digest because there's so many other chemicals in there. For the sake of keeping it concise and short and to the point, I'm not going to go into exactly carbs and fats and proteins today. Now, how do I keep track of all this? I use a calorie tracker. I just get an app on my phone. I think I paid like $4 for it. And it's really cool because it has a scanning device that I can just use to scan barcodes on foods. We'll just automatically enter that food in to my tracker and it will keep it for, for the day. I hope that this information is useful to you and kind of gives you a good starting point. Like I said, if you would like more information on this sciencey stuff, if you'd like something very specific, leave a comment down below and I'd be happy to do that for you.